Warning, the following video is pretty gross. You might not want to be eating while watching. How to carve a pumpkin like a ginasaji. This project is easy. All you need is a pumpkin and a spoon. It only takes about 90 days. May take longer for humans requiring food and sleep. We begin the project in late July. We'll start by making the left eye. Hit one spot on the pumpkin with the flat part of the spoon. Do this continually. Don't stop. Repetition is key. You'll want to hit it again and again in the same spot. And again. After just a few weeks, you'll start to see an indentation beginning to form. Keep hitting. Sometimes you'll need to take a break to take care of other business. But be sure to get right back to work. Continue doing this for several more weeks. After only two short months, the eye looks great. Now we'll start on the second eye. Thanks to the putrefaction process, the pumpkin's skin is getting softer, which will make it easier to work with. Just one month later, the eyes are finished, and we're already putting the finishing touches on the mouth. You might notice a dark putrescence oozing from the pumpkin. This adds a nice creepy effect for Halloween. Then it smells like death. As an extra bonus, the pumpkin should now be swarming with flies. All finished. It looks fantastic. And it smells just like a corpse. Now it's your turn. Since it might take a human up to a full year to make it, you can start working on your pumpkin now for next year's Halloween. It'll be the creepiest pumpkin ever. Thanks for watching and happy Halloween. Be sure to like and subscribe because that's good for the Ginasaji. Take part in our Ginasaji Fest photo and video contest. Details on the Richard Gale Films Facebook page. Brought to you by Ginasaji, the horribly slow murderer with the extremely inefficient weapon. Coming slowly to a theater near you.